Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, May 21st, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. First, a quick update again on the RDP vulnerability. Microsoft patched last week. Uh, this vulnerability now also has been labeled Blue Keep. And yes, there are more reports about people creating exploits for it. At this point, I think I counted three or four different groups that claim that they have a denial of service version of an exploit. There's also a GitHub repository that has a partial exploit that doesn't actually cause any damage at this point. So so it's not a denial of service and definitely not a remote code execution exploit at this point. But there's certainly quite a bit of interest in this vulnerability. Probably the best way if you sort of want to keep up to date on this is to monitor the blue keep hashtag on Twitter. But of course, there's also plenty of sort of vendors that sort of advertise their wares now using this hashtag. And talking about attacks against uh, Microsoft vulnerability CVE 2019-0604, that's a vulnerability in Microsoft SharePoint. It is now being actively exploited. And we do have a brief blog from Brad about how to recognize exploit attempts and links to how this particular attack works. This particular vulnerability appears to be exploited by a variant of the China Chopper backdoor. Uh, this is a very typical and kind of old by now ASPX uh, backdoor. So the name China Chopper does certainly not imply any attribution here. And in teaching about web application security, one chapter we always cover is JSON web tokens and some of the risks involved with that. Often those risks aren't even always that obvious. Just uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with JWT or JSON web tokens, essentially a snippet of uh, data that's digitally signed, but as part of the signature, the token also carries along the algorithm used to create the signature. So what an attacker could do is instead of just replacing the signature, which may be difficult if a tough algorithm was used, the attacker can can change the algorithm to something that's easier to fake and then create a signature that's valid for the particular altered data for the weak algorithm that the attacker selected. So the problem here is essentially that the token does not just include a signature, it also provides the algorithm being used in that way also tells the user how to validate the particular token's signature. Now this is a pretty well known problem by now. It usually happens if a developer essentially just calls a basic validate function on the token without constraining what algorithms are potentially going to be used. But has been a little bit difficult sometimes to demonstrate in a pen test to actually show this weakness to developers and to actually exploit it. Now, Andreas Hoppe on a blog post at snick.net now published a little Python script that illustrates how to pull off this attack and how to actually demonstrate it. So if you're pen testing any web applications that take advantage of JSON web tokens, and these are many, many current web applications, you may wanna take a look at this script to see if it comes in handy. And Cisco has an update on the Muddy Water threat group. Uh, they're typically associated with attacks in the Middle East and apparently they're learning from past mistakes and making it more difficult to detect uh, the particular malicious document. First of all, they're now using multi-stage loaders, so not all the malware is included in the initial document. Also, some of the PowerShell is better obfuscated and later stages are XORed to make it more difficult, for example, to write Yara signatures for the particular files. 
While uh, this particular group is uh, really more sort of in the, to these more targeted attacks, uh, the kind of behavior is fairly common for other more sophisticated actors. So certainly worthwhile reading up on it to see whether or not the, your detection systems are ready for these kind of obfuscations. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.